Now then, chances are you've come across this video because you want to change the launcher on your Amazon Fire tablet. Let's face it, it is rubbish. So let's get it changed. A couple of things you are going to need. Obviously you're going to need a Fire tablet, but you are going to need a PC as well and an internet connection. Let's jump in. So what we're going to do is plug in your USB charging cable one end in your PC, so this end, and then the other end in your Fire Tablet. First things first, you're going to want to get onto your Fire Tablet, and if you just go to Settings, and then if you go down to Device Options, and then About Fire Tablet, and then keep clicking on Serial Number until it tells you that Developer Options are enabled. So as you'll see on mine, they're already enabled, so it was just letting me know that. And once you've done that, if you just go back, and you'll see developer options is now available on the device options screen. So if we just tap on that, and then we're going to switch that on. It'll ask you if you want to do that. Just click OK, and then scroll down, and what you want to switch on is USB debugging and it just gives you a, a bit of a warning again there I uh, just click OK and then jump onto your PC and now that you're on your PC you just want to be searching for Fire Toolbox and the top result is the one that you want just agree to the cookies if you uh, accept them and all you need to do is just scroll down through the post get rid of that, we don't need to uh, subscribe to that and all you're doing is looking for the installer so the .exe is the one that you want so just download that and you may get a problem just asking if you want to install for all users or just yourself so just select yourself unless you want other users to have access to it just click install and keep the uh, launch fire toolbox setting enabled and click finish and then after a moment it will say that it is setting up the ADB process um, so in my case here it says that the device isn't authorized and that's because it's currently locked so if I unlock it and you get a prompt on there asking if you want to allow USB debugging so I just select always allow from this computer and then OK so when it loads up it'll ask you if you want to start a tour just click start tour on there and it just tells you a few things. The main reason I'm doing this video is to install a custom launcher. So what we're going to do is click that button there. And then you can choose which launcher you want. So you've got EV, Launcher, Microsoft, Niagara or Nova Launcher. In this case we're going to go for Nova Launcher. And we want to reroute the home key. And we want to enable widget support as well. And if you click yes, it will then install the Nova Launcher on your Fire Tablet. And other handy little things that you can do on the app is you can install a Google Assistant. So if you'd rather have that than the Amazon built-in Assistant, that's possible. You can install or uninstall Play Services. You can change the keyboard and input. Once you've done that, all you need to do is close down Fire Toolbox and go back on your tablet you might need to reboot it but usually it works without and there we go we've now got a different launcher so we've got the Google search bar at the top and we've now got an app drawer and we can customize it in all the ways that you normally can with the Nova launcher that's it for this video if you found this useful then please do hit subscribe and also like or dislike the video depending on what you thought about it I'll see you in the next one